How's it going, everybody? It's your friend Frozen Nona here, and welcome back to a brand new flashing lights video. And today is going to be part 32 of our flashing lights series. And I am super excited to be back on flashing lights today because the fire department has recently added a brand new station, and they've had a lot of updates recently. So I'm super excited to be working out of this station today. But uh, let's head on in, and I can show you guys a little bit around the station. So here we have the upstairs area. Um, they're kind of working on it still. It's kind of a work in progress, but they're starting to get it furnished a little bit, which is good to see. Um, we also do have a upstairs area as well. This is probably gonna be an office in there or something for the chief. All right, guys, looks like we do have a structure fire. That's gonna be our first call of today. Uh, let's get our computer up here as well. Get some of the information on here about the fire, let's get on the CAD here. Active calls. All right, we're gonna need a ladder truck, so that's perfect. Location's gonna be 2040. Uh, let's get our main lights on here. Shut down our computer, and uh, let's head out. All right, guys, clearing the intersections here. All right, we are getting closer to the fire now. All right, we have eyes on the fire here. It's gonna be a structure fire. Gonna be fairly high up right now. Um, we're gonna head out of the vehicle though and get the ladder ready. Get all of our equipment on as well here. So let's go into the trunk here, grab our fire equipment. SCBA is definitely gonna be needed for today's fight. Um, we're gonna see if we can hook up to a possible fire hydrant as well. So we can actually just set this thing up to the truck right here and then is there a hydrant nearby or? Oh yeah, perfect. It's one right over here, guys. Perfect, we got the hose connected. Looks like there's nobody who is in direct danger right now too, so we can just start fighting the fire. There's actually a control column up here too, guys we can use to uh, go right up to the fire. Perfect. All right, let's get the hose on here. Start fighting all those flames. Well, I start to hear that fire roaring now, guys. Yes, sir. All right, guys, the fire is out. I don't know why they're giving us like calls already. We literally just fought a big fire. Kind of funny. Can actually get off the ladder now. It's kind of awkward being at that angle. All right, perfect. That's gonna be locked in place here. Let's head over to the outriggers. Reset those. Put our SCBA away as well. Put that away too. And that is going to be code four. All right guys, we got a dumpster fire. Let's go ahead and claim that call. Um, 
head over to the pool here, slide down. Perfect, guys. Let's get the truck ready, open up the door. Gotta go as fast as we possibly can. Get the lights on as well. Uh, let's check the CAD. Make sure that there isn't anything we're missing too. Any vehicle, perfect, guys. All right, let's do this, guys. Got the lights on here as well. Alright, clearing these intersections here, guys. Alright, I got eyes on the fire, guys. It's gonna be kind of tucked in here, so we're gonna have to really maneuver our vehicle to get in. Thankfully, this thing has incredible steering. Whoever designed this truck is very smart. Alright, perfect, guys. Let's go ahead and grab our SCBA. Don't want to be breathing on this smoke, obviously. Grab the water supply hose as well. Might as well hook up to a hydrant here. Get some water on it right away. Hopefully there isn't any electronics in the bin. It's gonna be a lot harder to get it out with water then. Perfect, all right. Start attacking the fire. It's not too big. It looks like it's just spread a little bit onto the grass, so we're going to want to take care of that there. Perfect, guys. That uh, fire is going to be taken care of. Thankfully, we were able to get it out, which is always a good thing. Let's go ahead and detach that hose there as well. Take off our SCBA. Don't want to be driving with that. Perfect, guys. Let's call that in code four. Let's uh, exit the property here. All right, looks like we got a call, cat stuck in a tree. Let's uh, go ahead and respond to that call here as well. All right, I don't really know how we're gonna... Oh, perfect. Squeeze right through there, perfect. All right, let's... Uh... Okay, they're going to be kind of like in the suburbs area. Not 100% where the cat is right now. I'm going to hop out of the truck and go and see if I can spot the cat from below. I'm guessing it's in this tree right here, so... Uh, we'll probably just take the ladder up or cut it down. We don't really know where it is right now, but we still need it to come down. Obviously, it can't be sitting up there. and So we'll just take the chainsaw and start cutting it down. Let's try this tree first. Alright, I don't think it was in that one. definitely this one then oh there's the cat perfect 
All right, guys, we got a call for a motor vehicle collision. We're going to go ahead and respond to that call. Kill three. Hopefully, everybody's okay. So we got most of the cars clearing out in front of us here as well. All right, I got eyes on the motor vehicle accident here, guys. Looks like the police are already on scene, which is good to see. Let's go ahead and he exit the vehicle. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so it looks like one person is stuck here. All right, we're gonna need the spreaders. Uh, get that door open. Let's go ahead and grab our. It's called the Jaws of Life, basically. All right, perfect. Those spreaders work great. Go ahead and put these back. Let's grab our med bag as well. Get a C collar on this person. Um, let's inspect them here. Alright, pulse found, conscious, possible neck injury, they're breathing though. Good thing we got a C collar on them. Possible bone fracture. Alright, pulse again in their wrist. All right, we're going to have to uh, get them ready for an ambulance here. Um, we're going to call for an ambulance here just in a moment. I'm going to make sure that we don't have any other stuff we can help them with, though. All right, not really. Um, we're just going to have to call paramedics from here, and then we'll help them remove the patient from the vehicle. Um, all right, let's request transport. Perfect, we can grab our medic bag here as well, just to be on standby for now. It's kind of like the same break it looks like as well. Okay, this guy definitely isn't doing that good. Let's get a net collar on them as well. Let's go ahead and uh, inspect him here. Make sure there isn't anything like he's dying. Perfect. Okay, possible bone fracture on the leg. I'll let the paramedics know. All right, let's request a transport for this guy as well. Let's grab our medic bag as well here. Go ahead and place this back in the truck. All right, perfect. They're going to be on scene now. All right, let's get this person transported, guys. All right, perfect. That is going to be code for but uh that is going to end today's video guys if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing and i will see you guys in the next one see ya